Released in 1972, Pong was one of the first commercially successful video games and spawned numerous clones over the years. It's a classic, but as well as a third dimension, it's missing one very important thing. Guns. Lots of guns. Although I've been learning Unity on and off for a few years now, I've always stuck to 2D. I've released a couple of mobile games now, but I wanted to learn and make something in 3D. So to try and keep the scope small, I decided to reimagine a classic arcade game with an added dimension. So the plan was to make a simple game like Pong, but as a first person shooter and throw a multiplayer to do. Because you know, that's a good idea. So this is Super Paddle Deathmatch 3000. The concept of the game is you play in a 3D arena trying to score past your opponent, just like Pong. On your paddle you have a couple of guns that you can use to target your opponent or the ball and you'll also have a bunch of different power-ups and weapons and most importantly they'll be bloom. So I started off a new scene just to get the basics set up. In Pong where on the paddle you hit the ball determines how it bounces off the paddle. In my game because we're now working in three dimensions you can't tell us accurately where the ball is going to hit the paddle so instead we'll add a proportion of the player's movement velocity to the ball when it bounces off. So if you're moving sharply in one direction, the ball will gain some of your velocity in that direction. It's subtle, but it can be tweaked and give some control over the direction of the bounce. Just implemented a simple AI at the moment. It'll just move towards the current X, Y position of the ball and at the maximum permitted move speed. It can only cope with one ball at the minute and in future there will be a way of spawning more balls. Basically wanting it to be a bit chaotic, uh, a little bit like a bullet hell game. Maybe not that much chaos. Isn't it amazing how much can go wrong just from setting one ball wrong? Speaking of this problem, this leads us on to the power-ups and the other weapons. This problem happened because there's an invisible plane in the centre of the arena which acts as a plane that you'll be able to spawn weapons and power-ups onto. So the player at the minute can hit a button to activate a power-up and choose on that plane where they want to spawn it. This was interacting with the balls when they spawned and creating a loop where they would spawn more balls immediately. Hey, high score. Just added one power up so far, the black hole. So you can spawn these into the middle of the arena and they'll cause the trajectory of the ball to bend around their gravity. After a few tweaks to the gravity, uh, this was working okay. It can cause some pretty interesting situations. I'm going to have a load of different power ups and things in the game, especially um, want there to be tactics and counters available. So if someone spawns a black hole and you're not going to be able to make the shot, you can maybe spawn a shield or freeze the ball or maybe even reverse its direction. The black hole technically isn't working quite as it should. The gravity should be inversely proportional to its distance. But here I've got the gravity influence on the ball more or less even across the area of effect. This stops the ball from getting drawn into tight uh, loops. But I might strengthen this a bit, playtesting needed. I'm still working on a list of weapons and power-ups, but if you have any ideas, leave a comment below. For the guns themselves, for the moment you can damage the ball and the opponent. I need to add a visual indicator for this. But if you fire at the ball, you can destroy it with enough hits. If you shoot at the opponent and they take enough damage, it will slow them down for a short period. Again, visual indicators needed for this. There'll also be a cooldown so you can't just fire constantly. Um, but I've only implemented basic guns at this point. I've still got a lot of work to do on the prototype, but I think the next time I'll try to get multiplayer implemented so I can test the game out properly. I've never worked on multiplayer before, and I know it's better to start the project with multiplayer from the very outset. But it's something I've um, always wanted to work on, so we'll be looking into that in future. But I just wanted to get the basic mechanics of the game working. This project is meant to be a learning experience for me, so I wanted to do a bunch of things I've not done before, like 3D modelling, multiplayer, as well as 3D game itself. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching, and subscribe for further updates. Once I've got multiplayer implemented, I'll be working on some more weapons and improving the basic mechanics. Cheers!